Good morning, friends. I'm Dewey, and my Tech Talk topic for today is 5G Fixed Wireless Access. I ended my last week's Tech Talk, Cellular Phone 5G, hinting that this week I would speak on cellular fixed-based 5G, which is more commonly referred to as 5G Fixed Wireless Access. When I began writing this Tech Talk, I had no idea of the can of worms I'd be opening. Consequently, you're hearing my third rewriting. The reason is that I had understood fixed wireless access as strictly related to cellular, but I learned that it's also very much a part of the technology of WISPs, wireless internet service providers. There are nearly 3,000 entrepreneurial wireless internet service providers in the U.S. who provide access to individual locations using radio waves as the last link typically from fiber optic cable. Their professional association is WISPA.org. WISPA's 1,000 members also include the evolving industry that supports fixed wireless broadband connectivity, including equipment suppliers, supported devices, and other components needed to run a successful business. Together, they provide broadband access to over 7 million US customers. Isn't that a surprise? Getting back to cellular 5G, T-Mobile is considered by many as the cellular leader in 5G in the US, but with fixed wireless access, it's a different story. Last week, CNET.com carried an article on T-Mobile's fixed wireless access, which, calls, which it calls 5G home internet, that asks the question, can a mobile company meet 5G broadband speeds? T-Mobile launched their 5G home internet just last April, and it's already available to a quarter of the homes in 40 U.S. states. That includes over 600 cities, many of them within rural areas. This makes it the most widely available 5G home internet at present in the U.S. However, it still relies on its 4G LTE service areas, and consequently, its internet speeds are paltry compared to Verizon. T-Mobile has only one fixed wireless access plan, and here's an overview. It costs $50 a month, has no contract, no equipment fee, and no data caps. Maximum speeds are 35 to 115 megabits download and 8 to 23 upload. Also, the company provides a free, relatively sophisticated router. It's called the gate, the T-Mobile Wi-Fi Gateway. It's an eight inch tall combination modem and Wi-Fi 6 router compatible with T-Mobile's networks. It's pictured there at the right. If, Mo if T-Mobile internet is available where you live, and if you really don't need those blazingly fast, fast internet speeds, T-Mobile would be a good choice. Remember, it's always best to, if you can, to pick Pick a provider that's got a signal where you spend the most time. Of course, and you don't need a T-Mobile cellular phone subscriber. You, need to, you don't need to be a subscriber in order to get T-Mobile home internet. CNET.com also recently published a story on Verizon's 5G uh, fixed wireless access. Home internet called fast enough for phones, but what about your house? Here are some highlights from the article. Verizon's 5G fixed wireless access is currently available in 65 US markets. Subscribers get their internet connection wirelessly from a receiving antenna on their house that picks up Verizon's signal from a nearby neighborhood broadcast antenna. It's way faster than T-Mobile with some regions hitting near gigabit download speeds. Verizon's 5G home internet is mostly centered around the largest metro regions where the population density makes expansion more cost-effective. Deploying new cell towers is generally faster than wiring entire regions for fiber. And there's hope that Verizon will be able to bring speedier home internet to underserved parts of the country as well. Cost of Verizon's 5G home internet is $50 a month for Verizon cellular subscribers and $70 a month for others. Also, there are no contracts, no data caps, and the necessary equipment is included free. 
Also, if your current ISP charges you an early termination fee, Verizon will cover it up to $500. Very generous. Those of you who are now offered incentives, those who subscribe, excuse me, now are offered incentives like Disney Plus and AMC Plus free for a year, a free Google Nest Hub Max, and two months of free Sling TV. Online orders for Verizon Home Internet receive a $100 credit on their bill. I spend a good deal of time researching AT&T's fixed wireless access, and quite simply put, AT&T does not seem to be in the same league as T-Mobile and Verizon. First of all, AT&T's offering is available only in select areas of 21 mostly southeastern states. Secondly, it appears that AT&T has done little, if any, building out of the transmitting antenna towers and home or business reception equipment necessary to be deemed a provider of fixed wireless access. Consequently, we'll move on and take a look at what's happening in Canada. 5G fixed wireless access is available in Canada as well, but primarily through wireless internet service providers. Rogers is an exception, offering unlimited rural fixed wireless access internet broadcast from towers to a receiving antenna installed on homes. It's pricey. It costs $100, $100 a month for 25 megabits per second down and five megabits uh, up, and there's no cap. Not terribly fast, but there's talk of it doubling. TELUS Mobility offers their smart hub pictured at the right, saying it provides fixed high-speed internet access for rural households. They go on saying, plug the TELUS Smart Hub into a power outlet, insert an active SIM card, and get access to high-speed 3G HSPE, HSPA, excuse me, internet connection and voice services within minutes. Note that TELUS called it fixed high-speed internet access and that it featured high-speed 3G HSPA internet connection. Well, HSPA is high-speed packet access, a third-generation mobile broadband communication technology that offers a maximum of 14.4 megabit per second. I guess that ain't quite high-speed, huh? Obviously, what TELUS offers is not 5G cellular fixed, wire, fixed wireless access, but their own service as a WISP, a wireless internet service provider. A third quarter report by preseam.com titled, Bridging the Digital Divide, Wireless Internet Service Providers in Canada and Their Contribution, stated that Canada consistently ranks among the top 15 countries in the world when it comes to fixed broadband speeds. The report went on to say that unfortunately, this doesn't include all Canadians. There are many regions and communities in the country that don't enjoy fast home internet access. This has led to a widespread digital divide across Canada, which significantly limits growth, opportunities, and prosperity for many, according to the report. Fiber to the home is how 35% of Canadian households currently access the internet though approximately 1 million Canadians still don't have access to broadband, the situation is gradually improving with 26% of rural households now relying solely on fixed wireless internet access to me for broadband. Preseam.com concluded by stating that there have been numerous advancements in fixed wireless access technology over the last decade. As a result, Wireless internet service providers can now provide fiber-like internet speeds to customers. These speeds range from a low of 25 megabits per second all the way up to plans that offer speeds of one gigabit per second in some areas. Ron Brown likely enjoys his one gigabit service because of one of these wisps. Well, that's my Tech Talk story for today. And unless you find fault, I'm sticking with it. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. And the good Lord willing, we'll see you next week.